Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my 2021 planner system. So I'm very excited to share all of the planners that I'll be using this year. Um, this is the most streamlined system that I feel like I've ever had. And so it did not start out this way. So initially for 2021, I planned on having like six or seven planners and it just, to be completely honest, it was just getting ridiculous. And I felt overwhelmed for my planner system, which is the complete opposite feeling that you're supposed to get from your planner stack. And so I just took the time out to really streamline all of my planners, what I'm using each one for and how I'm going to use them. And so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So this year I will be using the Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. This is my wallet and my on the go planner. I have an HP mini disc setup and a contoured leather agenda from cloth and paper. We have the medium ring agenda from Louis Vuitton. And this is my daily planner. And then we have my main planner in the cloth and paper contoured, a five agenda with black hardware. And each of these planners serve their own purpose. They each have their own function. I feel like I've never had a more cohesive planner system. So I'm gonna share an overview of each one and how I use them together but I do have individual videos that I'll link below and that are listed in the 2021 planner system playlist. I think it's what it's called. I'll have it linked below as well. Um, but I go into detail on each one, how I use the inserts, etc. So let's get started. And at the end of the video, I will have a sneak peek of my school system and what I plan on using. Nothing is definitive yet on that because I haven't even received a syllabus yet. My orientation, I believe is next month or the month after that. And then after that, I'll probably have a better idea of what I'm using. So for now, we're just going to go over my current planner stack and what I plan to use. The only thing that I plan to add to my planner stack this year is the cloth and paper 2021 spiral agenda. And that's just going to be used for school. But Let's go over all of these. Okay, so first up is the small ring agenda or the PM agenda from Louis Vuitton. And so this is my wallet as well as my on the go planner. So I just have debit cards and my driver's license in here. And then I have an inbox, these monthly inserts from Infinite Lotus that highlight important appointments, birthdays, holidays, um, travel days and events. And then I also just have a note section in here as well. Um, and then just some business cards. So this is um, very compact. I take this with me everywhere. This fits in all of my clutches and my toe, obviously. And so, so this is my main wallet and I love using this as my wallet. And I just absolutely love this as a on the go planner. It's very nice to reference. And it's just nice to have this little like system with me on the go so I can easily reference dates and make appointments easily. So, so that is my wallet slash on the go planner. It's, and after that we have my MM or medium ring agenda from Louis Vuitton. And so this is my daily planner and this is always with me. So I keep it with me on my desk or if I'm not at my desk, it's in my purse or on my bedside table. So I always have this planner with me in some way. Um, it's very versatile because it is the medium, so it's not large. It doesn't take up much room in my tote. And I love having my daily plans with me because it has all of my lists of things that I need to do. I have an inbox in here and then just like a monthly dashboard. And I have this monthly insert from Infinite Lotus to use just as a reference. So I have these monthly inserts in all of my planners. The pocket is the only one where it's a month on two page, but in my MM and in my main agenda, my A5 agenda, which I'm about to show you, I have the same one. And so I have the same color code throughout all of my planners. So that way it's easy to identify what's going on and when, and it makes it easier when you're using different planners to have the same color code. But in here are my daily inserts from Infinite Lotus. 
And so these are the dated daily pages. I love these. I love how it goes from six o'clock to 11. I can plan out everything in here. And I can have my daily to-do list in here, which I absolutely love. And then I just keep three months of daily inserts in here. And it's nice to be able to just come in here, write down appointments, write down plans, make my to-do list for, you know, Friday or, you know, five Fridays from now um, and just have this with me wherever I need to go. And so that's everything that I keep in here. And so I normally set this up like on a Sunday or maybe even a Monday and I just go in and I put everything that's in my weekly inserts into here and that way I can um, plan around that. So um, this is my daily planner and then as I mentioned both of these are I'm taking with me on the go so they both fit in my tote and um, this one's tucked away on the side. I don't really reference this one as much. It's just more if I need it, it's there. I primarily use my MM, which is a personal size, um, when I'm planning different things out. And I primarily use my pocket when I just need to reference something. So that is how I use both of these. And then we get into my main agenda and so this is the contoured agenda from coffin paper this one took me a while to set up and finalize the setup which is why i have two videos on my channel on this agenda when i optimize my planner stack this was the main component of that because this is my main agenda so everything pretty much revolves around this planner and everything in here is the focus and so i feel like it wasn't focused enough there was so much going on i didn't have everything that i need and it wasn't functional and so now I feel like I finally have a functional setup for my A5. So in here this has my main plans. So I have um, a yearly section and I have these inbox inserts to track things that I need to be planned or I need to make a plan for. And then I have a quarterly overview which is just general dates and these inserts are just an overview so they have birthdays, anniversary, travel dates, um, important school dates and that's it so appointments and items don't go on here this is primarily just for those big events that occur so this will also include baby showers and um, weddings as well and then my monthly inserts here's where everything is broken down in here so that the same dates that are highlighted in here are those same ones that are highlighted in my pm and in my mm and so all of these always need to match so that I can make sure that what, whatever planner I use, I have all the correct information. And so this is the only insert that's repeated throughout all of my planners. So I do have an inbox in each planner, but they're all directed towards what needs to go in each specific planner. Um, the only thing that repeats are these monthly inserts. And these are the only things that I take time out each week to make sure that they're all updated, that they all um, that they're all cohesive and that they all have the same information. So the only thing that goes on the A5 that aren't in those are pretty much paydays. Everything else event-wise I want to make sure are in both of those. Um, and then I have a monthly inbox in this one. So I have the full year of monthly inserts in here as well. And then we get into my weekly inserts and this is what I use this planner for the most because um, it is my weekly planners. And so I use two different inserts. So I use these inserts from Infinite Lotus and these are my main weekly inserts. These are undated but I do use them every week and they just have the overview of what is going on. So there's different appointments, um, reminders, and meetings in here from work. And then I have my weekly to-do list and this is all personal tasks. And then I have the Weekly Planner number one inserts from Elmont Paper Co. And this breaks down my week into different categories. So I have a category for personal, blog, work. And then right now this is for delivery, but when school starts, this will be for school. Um, and then in this planner, I have my monthly work inserts. And so I wanna be able to reference any work-related events. And so I keep my monthly inserts for work in here. And then I keep meeting information on this breakdown. 
And that way, if I'm trying to schedule like a doctor's appointment or if I'm trying to go to lunch with someone, I can see what's going on and when. And then this planner also has um, my finance section, goal planning inserts, and then my content planner that I use for blogging. And so this has everything that I need throughout the week, all the important information all together. And that is why this is the most cohesive and um, best planner setup. So that is everything in this planner. And then I do use my work planner, which is a HP mini with this planner. And so as I mentioned, this section is my monthly inserts for work. And so um, I didn't want to put another set of monthly inserts in my work planner. Um, so I like having them in here because I like having them to reference when I'm planning out personal items. Um, and it made more sense to put the monthly inserts in here. And so I like, I really like having them in here. And then in my HP mini, I have um, in a work inbox. I have campaign overviews and projects and then a full note section from like webinars and meetings. And then again, I have um, in-depth videos on all of these planners. So if you are interested in the exact setup and what I use each one for, um, go check out those videos. But in this planner, I mainly use these weekly inserts from Infinite Lotus. So this has everything that I have to do throughout the week and important highlights. And then I, as you all can see, I don't have a monthly insert in here because I'm using these. And I like that it's in a separate planner because it makes it easier to just pull out my planner and um, go to whatever month I need and reference it while I'm planning something in here or if I'm working on like a campaign and I'm trying to create a deadline, I can just easily pull out my calendar. And so I like having this separate from here and just using this for my weekly plans. Um, I feel like this is more cohesive that way. Um, but yeah, that is the setup for those. And then that is my planner system. So again, I feel like it's really it is technically for planners, but I mean, this one is specifically for work. So I only use this one while working. Um, this one is just a reference while on the go. So I'm primarily using just my A5 and my personal, um, like on the daily basis. And so this one is always at my desk. I have a designated spot for it and um, it never leaves my desk. So unless I go like downstairs and plan, um, but it's always open at the weekly section and that way I can easily um, plan. And then as I mentioned, this one's always with me, whether at my desk or it's in my purse and that way I always have it. So these are the two I use the most. So my weekly and my dailies. And I like the system that I have in place and how they all balance each other out. Um, but yeah, that is everything in my 2021 system. The only thing that will change is when I start school. So to give you all a sneak peek of what I have planned, um, I will be using the 2021 Spiral Planner from Cloth and Paper. This came in a sub box. And so this entire Spiral Notebook is going to be just for school. So I'm going to have all of my assignments in here. I'm going to um, keep all the information that I need for school in here. So my classes don't start until May, um, but I do have an orientation. I do have to contact like our program coordinator before then, financial aid, I have to do my BASFA, different things like that. So there are a lot of things that I have to do before then that I'll still use this for, but for the most part, I won't really use this until May, which is fine because once I start using this, I mean, school's gonna be in session and that means I'm probably going to be using this every day, but I like this because it's compact, everything's together. I will have to travel for residency, and then if I do need to go somewhere, um, it's very compact and it's very small, and I'll just hold all the information that I need for school. But I plan on using this, and then I am setting up an HP Mini notebook, and this will just be a notebook. So I do have an inbox in here, but that's just for sticky notes. Um, but I have tabs, um, but that'll just be for um, each class. So I plan on doing like one tab per class and then I'm going to have a reading log in here so I can track if there's books that I need to read for a class, um, including the textbook, but also additional readings. I can track where I'm at and what needs to be read and by when in these reading logs. And then I have these task inserts from 
coffin paper as well as the Cornell note. And I do a lot of notes on the computer in Google Docs, but I also just want to set up a notebook just for any written notes that I want to take. I also have the minimal executive notes in here that I'm going to use for residency notes. Um, but yeah, that's, um, but that is just my notebook, not a planner, but I just wanted to share this with y'all. Um, so I'm setting that up for school and then also setting up the infinite Lotus agenda for school. So I see this more as a binder or I'm using it more like a binder. So in here I'm keeping all of my syllabus, dissertation information, dissertation research, um, project deadlines, guidelines, different things like that in here. And so um, I have an inbox in here just in case I need it, but I have the curriculum broken down and all the important information for the curriculum. And then this planner is broken down by the program elements and coursework. So we have um, my doctoral core, education core, my concentration, which will be marketing, and then my research and dissertation tab. And that's how my curriculum is broken down. And then each core has the courses. And so I have a tab per course. And so this section is um, the core business courses. So this is all of the courses that I'll be taking. And then this will be the tab for each one. And then I'll just keep the syllabus and any important information behind each one, any important project information. And that way everything is always together. And I can look back and reference anything that I need to reference. And then it's the same for each top tab. So, so this will just keep all of my important information for school in one spot. So that's why I see it more as a binder because I will be using this for the next four years just to store all that information. And then my actual plans will be in the spiral notebook. But this is what I currently plan on using for school as well. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Once I go through orientation and get my syllabus, I'll finalize what system I'm gonna put in place for school. But for now, this is what we have. Um, this is what I plan on using. And I'll just make adjustments as needed. So other than that, that is gonna be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll have more videos to come when it comes to the school system and I'll share the official system and setup once I have it finalized, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.